thank you for joining today. Uh, my name is uh, Peter Fedarp. I'm a pre-sales engineer at Edge House Interactive, and I'm going to give you a little tour through our uh, Teams integration with our product that's in our, our portfolio that we refer to as Edge House Interactive Contact Center, or EICC for short. And this product is uh, for the SME contact center marketplace. So it's it's typically ranging from you know one agent up to the 500 agent uh, workspace. We do also have other uh, contact centers within portfolio, but this is the one most common one now of the sizing of the uh, contact centers in the European market space. Uh, so it's the prevalent one that we demonstrate today. But if you do have any questions about contact centers over and above that, then feel free to contact us today and we'll We'll happily talk to you about other products within range. So the uh, first part of the session, just going to take you through the actual client interface and show you a few things that are moving through, like phone calls and emails into that. And you'll notice that we have a touch point application that's actually been embedded within to the Teams client within there. This is designed more really for the rapid deployment of, of home working, uh, giving it more of a sort of a browser look and feel to it. But we also do have other uh, options as well, like we do have a hard client that could be installed into the machine as well. Well, the most part around the toolbar that we're looking at now is uh, really to minimize the amount of controls that the agent requires can always be in view. Therefore, you can actually use both the clients within tandem at that point in time. But you have the same controls in teams as you would do in, in the harder client. The idea around the soft bar or the controls within the teams client is to one to give you the availability of your agent to always confirm what the status is, being able for them to do simple things like taking a break, just an ad hoc one that's there, or more commonly I might want to make myself unavailable for a designated reason, so I might particularly go on something like a lunch break. So the idea around this is to, to always confirm the status but also give them their expected time to return. When this time uh, it's at 45 minutes and counting down at the moment expires, we will give them a toaster pop in the bottom right hand corner to give them the reminder that the breaks expired. That will just help the agent support in those common types of questions you find within the contact center of, I didn't know that my break had expired or I didn't realize I was still on break and trying to keep that in focus. We've also got the ability for you to do uh, other types of unavailable states, which we refer to as work times, things like meetings, notes and training. You can actually generate these within the administration yourself and you can configure them to work in different ways. So if I was to pop onto my training break there, I'm not quite sure if my training session is going to overrun. So I've actually set this type of, of work time up for them so they can take as much time as that should they need to. And therefore, they'll be able to just finish their own work time and it will time track with you so you'll be able to build up a picture of their availability. However, if I wanted to do more of a time basis, something like up in updating my CRM notes, I could give a suggested time where I'm giving the agent a minute at this point in time, and I could allow them to add incremental time to bump that up by 10 seconds or a half an hour, or have much time that you feel that they need to increment by. And that's just the way that the system will always make sure that they've got a, a time track around the different responsibilities, because as soon as you log out of a system, you start losing that auditability, whereas we've got our break reasons in here for our human resource breaks, whereas we've got more of our business activities that mean we're not unavailable to the queue. We have some other nice controls in here, things like a request for assistance. So this will alarm any supervisors that have been designated for me and then give me a pop up. They might choose to do a whisper coaching or an intrusion or a silent monitor of my, of my conversation and therefore provide me support. Obviously, within Teams, quite a lot of my customers now are just using the instant messaging between them to, to chat between the agent and the supervisor as well.